But we begin tonight with two momentous state visits, both of which began today. Pope Francis arrived in our nation's capital for his first ever trip to the United States. He then heads to New York and Philadelphia and at some point could discuss a topic he's touched on before, namely capitalism's flaws. In Washington state, the president of China began a nearly week-long trip, his first state visit to America as the leader of that country. In addition to meeting with President Obama, he will be talking with a who's who's of American CEO at a time when tensions between China and some industries are running high. And that's where we begin our coverage with Michelle Caruso Cabrera in Seattle. The president of China, Xi Jinping, arrives in the United States at a critical time in U.S.-China relations. The Chinese economy has been faltering, and Beijing has been increasing its level of economic intervention. President Xi will be meeting with CEOs of some of America's biggest companies, Apple, Microsoft, Berkshire Hathaway, Disney, IBM, General Motors, who have a lot at stake in China and are deeply concerned about the situation there. One of those meetings being orchestrated by former U.S. Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson. China is very important to these multinational companies, and their voices haven't been quite as loud in support of U.S.-China relations because the business climate is becoming more difficult. They have concerns not just about the economy, but concerns about the, uh, the pace of reform and opening up and concerns about whether some of these new laws and regulations are, you know, which are limiting access. They have concerns about the intent behind that. Just today, the current U.S. Treasury Secretary, Jack Lew, published an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal questioning President Xi's commitment to market reforms. China's huge market is of great importance to many parts of the American economy. President Xi will also meet with five U.S. governors, including Iowa Governor Terry Branston, who has known Xi since he was a low-level bureaucrat who visited Iowa 30 years ago. They still have a personal relationship, but also an economic one. China has become a major trading partner. We're the leading soybean producing uh, state in America. 30% of our soybeans go to China. They also recently, a Chinese company purchased Smithfield Foods because they want a safe, reliable supply of pork. The other key issue, cyber attacks that the U.S. government believes were orchestrated by the Chinese government. President Obama and business leaders are expected to press the Chinese leader on cybersecurity. The U.S. has been considering whether or not to unleash economic sanctions on Chinese companies accused of hacking. President Xi's response could determine whether or not sanctions are imposed. Tonight, President Xi will make a policy speech at a large dinner in front of hundreds of political and economic leaders from the United States. What he says will set the tone for the entire trip. For Nightly Business Report, Michelle Caruso Cabrera, Seattle.